Hello everyone, welcome to Educare 247 and today we bring you the 50 best current affairs MCQs from 1st May to 7th May. But before moving on, Educare 247 brings you SEBI Grade A Crash Course which features the complete paper 2 plus 5000 MCQs with precise content. We are also offering a 1000 rupee discount for the course. So log on to the website and enroll for the course. Moving on to the first question, SEBI has given mutual funds the time till June 30th to comply with the requirement of holding at least dash percentage of the assets in liquid assets like cash and government securities and the options are A 15%, B 20%, C 10%, D 18% and the correct answer is B that is 20%. Market regulator SEBI gave three more months till June 30th for liquid funds to comply with the requirement of holding at least 20% of the assets in liquid assets like cash and government securities. SEBI in September last year had made it mandatory for liquid funds to hold at least 20% of the net assets in liquid form. The new rule is aimed at improving risk management and ensuring sufficient liquidity for the mutual funds. Moving on to the next question. The RBI has given green signal to the country's payment networks to allow tap and go functionality for law purchases making retail payments contact free during and after the coronavirus pandemic. What is the purchase amount above which the two factor authentication and pin processing is required? And the options are A 8000, B 10000, C 2000 and D 5000 and the correct answer is C that is 2000. The RBI has given green signal to the country's payment networks such as Visa, Mastercard and NPCI to allow for the tap and go functionality on card payments for all purchases at retail stores and shopping centers. However, the tap and go card payments for purchases above 2000 will still require a two factor authentication which customers must enter to process the transaction. Moving on to the next question. The RBI wants to de-risk India's burgeoning payment ecosystem by introducing a competition to the NPCI and wants to set up a pan India payment network with a paid up capital of dash crores and the promoter not investing more than dash percentage of its capital and the options are a 1000 and 40 percent b 500 crores and 40 percent c 2000 crore with 50 percent d 500 crore and 60 percent and the correct answer is b 500 crore with a stake of 40 percent the rbi wants to de-risk india's burgeoning payment ecosystem by introducing a competition to the NPCI. As per the draft norms, the new umbrella entity needs to have a diversified shareholding with a minimum capital of Rs 500 crore and the promoter not investing more than 40% of its capital. Furthermore, the eligible promoter would need to have at least 3 years of experience either as a service provider or a technology partner in the payments ecosystem. Moving on to the next question, SEBI has shot down a proposal seeking the relaxation of pricing norms for which of the following routes of fundraising and the options are A. Rights issue, B. Private placement, C. Qualified institutional placement and D. Venture capital funds and the correct answer is C. That is qualified institutional placement. SEBI has shot down a proposal seeking relaxation of pricing norms for qualified institutional placements which is a preferred route for equity fundraising. Investment bankers on behalf of companies had asked the capital market regulator to allow companies to offer a 10% discount on the floor price as cash trap firms are struggling to raise money due to the earnings uncertainty. Moving on to the next question. Who is the chairman of the committee? constituted to identify the areas of research where the MCA 21 registry could be used to further corporate growth from a macroeconomic perspective and the options are 
ए एम के जैन बी एच आर खान सी के वी सुब्रमण्यम एंड डी यू के सिन्हा एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज सी दैट इज के वी सुब्रमण्यम एन एक्सपर्ट कमेटी अंडर द चेयरमैनशिप ऑफ चीफ इकोनॉमिक एडवाइजर के वी सुब्रमण्यम हैज बीन कॉन्स्टिट्यूटेड टू आइडेंटिफाई एरियाज ऑफ रिसर्च वेयर द एम सी ए ट्वेंटी वन रजिस्ट्री कुड बी यूज टू फर्दर कॉपरेट ग्रोथ फ्रॉम अ मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक परस्पेक्टिव द एम सी ए ट्वेंटी वन इज अन ई गवर्नेंस इनिशियटिव इम्प्लीमेंटेड बाय द मिनिस्ट्री इन टू थाउजेंड एंड सिक्स विच एनेबल्स एंटरप्रन्योर्स टू रजिस्टर अ कंपनी एंड फाइल ऑल स्टैचुटरी डॉक्यूमेंट्स डिसाइड्स प्रोवाइडिंग एक्सेस टू पब्लिक डॉक्यूमेंट्स एंड सर्विसेज मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द सिक्योरिटीज एंड एक्सचेंज बोर्ड ऑफ इंडिया हैज गिवन अ वन टाइम रिलैक्सेशन ऑन स्ट्रिक्ट इन्फोर्समेंट ऑफ सर्टन कंप्लाइंस नॉर्म्स रिलेटेड टू राइट इशूज ओपनिंग फॉर सब्सक्रिप्शन टिल विच डेट एंड द ऑप्शन आर ए सेप्टेम्बर थर्टी एथ बी जून थर्टी एथ सी थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ जुलाई एंड डी ऑगस्ट थर्टी फर्स्ट एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज सी जुलाई थर्टी फर्स्ट से बी हैज गिवन अ वन टाइम रिलैक्सेशन ऑन स्ट्रिक्ट इन्फोर्समेंट ऑफ सर्टन कंप्लाइंस नॉर्म्स रिलेटेड टू राइट इशूज ओपनिंग फॉर सब्सक्रिप्शन अंटिल जुलाई थर्टी फर्स्ट द रेगुलेटर सेट द अब्रिज लेटर ऑफ ऑफर एप्लीकेशन फॉर्म एंड अदर इशू मटीरियल्स टू शेयर होल्डर्स कैन बी अंडरटेकन इलेक्ट्रॉनिकली मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अकॉर्डिंग टू द आर बी आई बैंक आर रिक्वायर्ड टू क्रिएट अ स्पेशल प्रोविजनिंग रिलेटेड टू विच कैटेगरी ऑफ अकाउंट्स टू प्रिवेंट द रिस्क ऑफ कैपिटल इरोजन एंड द ऑप्शन आर स्पेशल मैंशन अकाउंट जीरो स्पेशल मैंशन अकाउंट वन सी स्पेशल अकाउंट टू एंड डी ऑल ऑफ द अब एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज सी दैट इज एस एम ए जीरो टू द आर बी आई हेज क्लियर द एयर ऑन स्पेशल प्रोविजनिंग ऑफ लोन्स विच आर एंड मॉरिटोरियम प्रोविजनिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड टू बी कंसिडर्ड फॉर लोन्स वेयर द प्रिंसिपल और इंटरेस्ट पेमेंट्स आर ओवर ड्यू बिटवीन सिक्सटी वन एंड नाइन्टी डेज और विच आर स्पेशल मैंशन अकाउंट्स जीरो टू द आर बी आई हैड डिवाइडेड द एस एम ए लोन्स इन टू थ्री बास्केट्स दैट इज जीरो वन एंड टू विच इज अन to detect signs of stress among bank borrowers and monitor accounts which run the risk of turning into bad loans or npas moving on to the next question in a bid to boost market sentiment sebi has reduced the broker turnover fee to dash percentage of the existing fee structure from june 2020 to march 2021 and the options are a 30% B fifty percent, C twenty percent, and D ten percent. And the correct answer is B, that is fifteen percent. CB has decided to reduce broker turnover fees and filing fees on offer documents for public issues, rights issue, and buyback of shares. The broker turnover fee will be reduced to fifty percent of the existing fee structure for the period June two thousand and twenty. to march 2022 moving on to the next question who has launched the bank of schemes ideas innovation and research portal on msmes to provide access to all schemes of union states and union territories and upload ideas and researches in the sector and the options are a amit shah b piyush goel c pratap chandra sarangi d nitin gadkari and e narendra modi and the correct answer is d nitin gadkari msme minister nitin gadkari launched a bank of schemes ideas innovation and research portal the portal which gives access to schemes of union states and union territory governments and has provisioning for uploading ideas innovations and researches in the sector it has unique features of not only crowdsourcing of ideas but also its evaluation and rating moving on to the next question Chak Hao from Manipur has recently received a GI tag. It is a variety of dash which has been used in Manipur over centuries. And the options are A potato, B cotton, C fish, D rice and E tomato. And the correct answer is D that is a glutinous rice which has been in cultivation in Manipur over centuries is characterized by its special aroma. It is normally eaten during community feasts. and is served as chakhau kheer 
according to the GA application filed, this rice takes the longest cooking time of 40 to 45 minutes due to the presence of a fibrous bran layer and higher crude fiber content. Moving on to the next question. The government of which state has launched an agri-entrepreneur facilitation desk to boost primary sectors of the economy after lifting of the national-wide lockdown? And the options are A. Haryana, B. Assam, C. Tripura, D. Manipur, and E. Punjab. And the correct answer is C. Tripura. The Tripura government has announced the launch of an agro-based entrepreneurship facilitation desk in a bid to boost primary sectors such as agriculture. After a national-wide lockdown, which were initially enforced since March 21st for 21 days and which has been further extended for another 19 days till May 3rd to con contain the spread of the coronavirus disease. Moving on to the next question. The National Board for Wildlife has permitted coal mining in the forest area of which natural reserve? And the options are A. Panchmari Madhya Pradesh B. Achnakamar Amarkantak Madhya Pradesh C. Great Nicobar Andaman and Nicobar Islands D. Sesh Chalam Andhra Pradesh E. Dehing Patkai Elephant Reserve Assam And the correct answer is E. That is the Dehing Patkai Reserve The National Board for Wildlife has recommended that part of the 98.59 hectare reserve forest land of the Dehing Patkai Elephant Reserve be used for open cast coal mining by the Northeastern Coal Field of Coal India Limited. The proposal of locating the coal mine inside the reserve was considered during the 54th meeting of the board on July 18 last year. Moving on to the next question. The CSIR has launched which app to connect farmers to supply chain and freight transportation management system? And the options are A. Kisan Sangathan app B. Kisan Sabha app C. Kisan Rath app D. Krishi Sabha app and E. Krishi Rath app and the correct answer is B. That is the Kisan Sabha app. The CSIR has launched the Kisan Sabha app to connect farmers to the supply chain and freight transportation management system. It aims to provide the most economical and timely logistic support to the farmers to increase the profit margins by minimizing interference of middlemen and help them to directly connect with the institutional buyers. Moving on to the next question. The Department of Science and Technology has launched which program to address health risks related to COVID-19? And the options are A. Sehat, B. Roshni, C. Yash, D. Savera, and E. Seva. And the correct answer is C. Yash. The National Council for Science and Technology Communication, the Department of Science and Technology, have launched a program on health and risk communication with a focus on COVID-19. It is a comprehensive and effective health communication effort for promoting grassroots level appreciation and response on health and would help save and shape the lives of people at large. Moving on to the next question. Who among the following has been chosen for the Nikki Asia Prize 2020 for clean water technology? And the options are A. Sugata Bose B. Nitin Horia C. Thomas Kalith D. T. Pradeep or E. Avinash Dikshit And the correct answer is D. That is T. Pradeep IIT Madras Professor T. Pradeep a 2020 Padma Shri awardee has been chosen for the prestigious Nikki Asia Prize 2020 in Science and Technology category for his pioneering work in nanotechnology based water purification. Since more than 1 crore Indians have benefited from the research undertaken by the research led by Professor T. Pradeep, who is the Deepak Parekh Institute Chair Professor of Department of Chemistry of IIT Madras. Moving on to the next question. The government has raised the minimum support price for minor forest produce of 49 items in view of circumstances arising of the COVID-19. The prices are revised every dash years by the pricing cell of the Ministry of Tribal Affairs. And the options are A. 2.5 years B. 5 years C. 4 years D. 2 years and E. That is 3 years. And the correct answer is E. 3 years. 
in a crucial announcement affecting the livelihoods of tribal gatherers the government revised the msp for minor forest produce of 49 items trifid will monitor the implementation of the revised msp in the states the order issued by the ministry of tribal affairs in new delhi states that the msp for the minor forest produce is revised once in every 3 years by the pricing cell which has been constituted under the ministry moving on to the next question who has assumed the charge as the secretary of women and child development ministry and the options are a ramesh chand b anand singh c rajesh sharma d rajiv kumar and e ajay tirke and the correct answer is e ajay tirke mr ajay tirke an indian administrative service officer of madhya pradesh cadre belonging to the 1987 batch has assumed charge as secretary in the ministry of women and child development he succeeded ravindra padwar who has retired now moving on to the next question which state has become the first one in the country to provide free and cashless insurance premiums to the people of the state and the options are a madhya pradesh b haryana c maharashtra d gujarat and e punjab and the correct answer is c maharashtra amid the outbreak of the covid-19 pandemic the maharashtra government has announced that a 10% of the population inclusion of from the state will be provided free health treatment under the mahatma jyoti phule jan arogya yojana while making the announcement on the 60th foundation year of the state health minister had stated that with this maharashtra has become the first state in the country to provide free and cashless insurance premium to the people of the state moving on to the next question which association has launched a national e-commerce marketplace called the bharat market to help retail traders provide free services to customers and the options are a cii b cait c sohm d fiki and e siam and the correct answer is b that is the confederation of all india traders cait the trade body has announced to launch a national e-commerce marketplace that is the bharat market soon for all retail traders in collaboration with several technological partners the marketplace will integrate capabilities of various technology companies to provide end to end services in logistics and supply chain moving on to the next question which product from kashmir has recently been given the geographical indication by the gi registry and the options are a walnut wood products b copper utensils c saffron d pashmina shawl and e kahwa and the correct answer is c saffron kashmir saffron which is cultivated and harvested in the karewa highlands of jammu and kashmir has been given the gi tag by the geographical indications registry the spice is grown in some regions of kashmir including pulma pulwama badgaon kishtwad and shrinagar kashmir saffron is a renowned spice it rejuvenates health and is used in cosmetics and for medical purposes moving on to the next question rbi has cancelled the license of which cooperative bank as a result of the bank's weak financial position and the options are a wasavi cooperative urban bank b ahmedabad mercantile cooperative bank c ckp cooperative bank d nutan nagrik sahakari bank and e amarnath cooperative bank and the correct answer is c that is the ckp cooperative bank the rbi has cancelled the license of mumbai based ckp cooperative bank limited the license has can been cancelled with effect from the close of business on 30th april 2020 as the bank's financial position had worsened moving on to the next question the government of which state has made the aragya setu app a must for those in hotspot areas and the options are a maharashtra b gujarat c uttar pradesh d haryana and e punjab and the correct answer is c uttar pradesh 
the Uttar Pradesh government has made it compulsory to download the Aroge Setu app for those living in the hotspot areas of the state. The state government has issued instructions regarding opening of offices and resuming work in industrial areas. Now, the Aroge Setu app is a must for everyone in the hotspot area. If anyone is facing any problem in download and use of the app, then teams comprising members of administration will help them. Moving on to the next question. Which country has banned the use of saliva as, as a technique to shine the cricket ball via release of guidelines for gradual return of professional and recreational sport? And the options are A. South Africa B. England C. Australia D. India and E. Zimbabwe And the correct answer is C. Australia Australia has banned saliva and sweat to shine the cricket ball as the federal government re has released guidelines for the gradual return of professional and recreational sport in the coronavirus pandemic. Moving on to the next question. The Union Health Minister Dr. Harshwardhan has launched which multimedia guide to educate and strengthen public understanding of science and health? And the options are A. Covid Story B. Covid Kahani C. Covid Health D. Covid Lake and E. Covid Katha and the correct answer is E, that is Covid Katha. The Union Health Minister Dr. Harshwardhan launched Covid Katha, a multimedia guide on the Covid-19 disease. While releasing Covid Katha, Harshwardhan stated that it was an extremely useful and exemplary science communication solution for the people at large in the present scenario. It is freely accessible on smartphones desktop computers as well as other electronic devices. Moving on to the next question. Which bank has released a song amidst the ongoing national lockdown to keep hopes up amidst the COVID-19 pandemic? And the options are A. ICIC Bank B. IDBI C. HDFC Bank D. State Bank of India and E. Access Bank And the correct answer is C. That is the HDFC Bank To keep hopes up Amidst the nas ongoing national lockdown and the coronavirus pandemic, HDFC released a collaborative song titled Hum Har Nahi Manenge, that is, We Will Not Lose. It has been composed by Oscar and Grammy Award winning musician A.R. Aman with the lyrics by Prasoon Joshi. Moving on to the next question. Which country is all set to be the first one to launch a satellite for monitoring the Arctic climate this year? And the options are A. Iran B. Russia C. China D. United States and E. North Korea And the correct answer is B. Russia Russia will launch its first Arctic IM satellite for monitoring the Ar Arctic climate at the end of the year. As of now, the number one Arctic IM spacecraft has been developed and is undergoing radio electronic testing. Moving on to the next question. DBS Bank has slashed India's financial year 21 GDP forecast to dash percentage from its earlier 1.5% projection and the options are A 0.8% B 0.5% C 1% D 1.3% and E 1.2% and the correct answer is C 1% Singapore based DBS Bank had, has cut India's financial year 21 GDP forecast to 1% from the earlier 1.5% which has been projected. The forecast is based on its assumption of an end in the lockdown in the June quarter and reopening of all sectors by the third quarter. Risk scenarios point to a possible decline in the headline GDP if the extension is prolonged. Moving on to the next question. Who has been nominated by President Trump as a representative to the International Bank for Reconstruction and Development? And the options are A. Neeraj Jain B. Janendra Venugopal C. Rajesh Magu D. Ashok Michael Pinto and E. Kinshuk Bairagi And the correct answer is D. That is Ashok Michael Pinto US President Donald Trump has nominated Indian American Ashok Michael Pinto as a representative to the International Bank of Reconstruction and Development. Pinto was nominated as US Alternate Executive Director of IBRD for a term of two years. Moving on to the next question. 
the government of which state has launched an exit app for stranded people of other states who want to return to their native place. And the options are A. Tamil Nadu, B. West Bengal, C. Punjab, D. Haryana, and E. Assam. And the correct answer is B. West Bengal. The West Bengal government has launched an app for people from other states who are stranded in the state due to the lockdown and want to return to the native place. Moving on to the next question. The ICMR has decided to leverage which virtual agent to enable rapid response to COVID-19 testing facilities and bolster rapid response to India's frontline testing facilities. And the options are A. EV, B. Cortana, C. Dewar, D. Siri and E. Watson. And the correct answer is E. Watson. The Indian Council of Medical Research, the Department of Health Research, has decided to collaborate with tech giant IBM on a virtual assistant to bolster rapid response to India's frontline testing facilities of COVID-19. The government agencies will leverage IBM's AI-enabled Watson on its portal. The bot will respond to specific queries on, of frontline staff and data entry operators. Moving on to the next question. Which American private equity firm has decided to buy a stake in Geo platforms? And the options are A. Wakabayashi Fund B. Silver Lake C. Fintrix D. Kuzari Group E. Oroko Capital And the correct answer is B. Silver Lake Silver Lake is an American private equity fund which has stated that it will buy around 1.15% stake in Geo platforms. Silver Lake announced that it will be investing rupees 5,000 crores in Geo platforms, giving it a valuation of around 65 billion. Moving on to the next question, a recent campaign Ideathon has been launched by the central government. The campaign focuses on which of the following areas, and the options are a farmer management, b river management, c the supply of non-essential items. D. Economic Revival and E. Industrial re Revival And the correct answer is B. That is River Management The National Mission for Clean Ganga under the Ministry of Jal Shakti and the National Institute of Urban Affairs have organized an ideathon on the future of river management to explore how the COVID-19 crisis can shape river management strategies for the future. Moving on to the next question who has been appointed as the Chief Risk Officer of Yes Bank? And the options are A. Pratima Shore B. Subhash Chandra Kaliya C. Neeraj Dhawan D. Rentala Chandrasekhar and E. Vasant Gujarati And the correct answer is C. That is Neeraj Dhawan Yes Bank has appointed Neeraj Dhawan as its Chief Risk Officer which immediate effect he has around 29 years of banking experience in financial services. He will assume charge in place of Ashish Agarwal, who is the current Chief Risk Officer. Moving on to the next question. Which fintech firm has launched the lockdown loan scheme for MSMEs to tide over the COVID-19 crisis? And the options are A. Linden Club B. Money Tap C. Flexi Loans D. Neo Growth and E. Happy and the correct answer is E. Happy. Happy is a machine learning based MSME digital lender who has come up with the facility of lockdown loan. The company came up with the initiative as it believes that the global coronavirus outbreak has also impacted about one fourth of India's 69 million MSMEs. Moving on to the next question. Which former banker has been named as an advisor to the digital payments app Google Pay? And the options are A. UK Sina, B. Amitabh Chaudhary, C. Sunil Mehta, D. O.P. Bhatt, and E. Shikha Sharma. And the correct answer is E. Shikha Sharma. Google Pay India named Shikha Sharma, the former Access Bank CEO, as an advisor to the digital payments app. During the ongoing lockdown, Google has launched its nearby spot to help users in Bangalore find local stores selling essentials like groceries. The nearby spot will soon be launched in Hyderabad, Chennai, Mumbai, Pune and Delhi. Moving on to the next question. 
which country has decided to support ADB developing member countries response to COVID-19 challenges by providing $150 million through its fund for poverty reduction and the options are A. United States B. Germany C. France D. Sweden and A. Japan and the correct answer is E. Japan in support of ADB's effort the government of Japan is committed to providing an emergency support for $150 million through the Japan Fund for Poverty Reduction and the Asia Pacific Disaster Response Fund to help them strengthen the capacity to contain the spread of COVID-19. Moving on to the next question. Who has become the first Indian to get nominated for the Fed Cup Heart Award from the Asia Oceana Zone? And the options are A. Saina Nehwal B. Sanya Mirza C. P. V. Sandhu D. Parupalli Kashyap and E. Kidambi Shrikant and the correct answer is B. Sanya Mirza Indian tennis star Sanya Mirza became the first Indian to be nominated for the Fed Cup Heart Award from the Asia Oceana Zone along with Indonesia's Priskan Madeleine Nugro Moving on to the next question The government of which state has launched three schemes the Bersa Harit Gram Yojana, the Nilambar Pitambar Jal Samridhi Yojana and the Potu Hoi Khel Vikas Scheme to boost rural employment and a bid to revive the economy after lockdown. And the options are A. Rajasthan, B. Odisha, C. Jharkhand, D. Haryana and E. Punjab. And the correct answer is C. Jharkhand. The Jharkhand government launched three schemes under the National Rural Employment Guarantee Act in a bid to revive the rural economy affected by the lockdown in view of the COVID-19 pandemic. Moving on to the next question. Who is the head of the ERDA panel on drafting standard professional indemnity policy for insurance intermediaries? And the options are A. Umesh Rathor B. T. M. Alamelu C. Najim B. D. Yegna Priya Bharat and E. Surbi Goel And the correct answer is D. Yagna Priya Bharat, regular ERDA has set up a panel to frame standard professional indemnity policy for insurance intermediaries that can be used by all the insurers and it is being headed by Yagna Priya Bharat that is the CGM for non-life insurance. Moving on to the next question. The Uttar Pradesh government has launched which app to help people get health remedies and tell users on how to use kitchen ingredients to improve the body's immunity and the options are a ayush up covid b kavach covid c covid up d ayush up and e ayush kavach covid and the correct answer is e ayush kavach covid yogi adityanath launched ayush kavach covid app to help people get health remedies which can be useful to fight against covid 19 the Ayush covered COVID will provide measures to boost immunity based on natural resources and is designed to help tell users how commonly available kitchen ingredients can help to enhance the body's immunity. Moving on to the next question. The Indian Navy has launched which operation to repatriate Indian citizens from overseas and abroad? And the correct answer and the options are A. Sea Bridge B. Rahat C. Samudra Setu D. Sahita and E. Madat and the correct answer is C. Samudra Setu. Indian Navy has launched Operation Samudra Setu meaning Sea Bridge as a part of its national effort to repatriate Indian citizens from overseas. Indian naval ships Jalashwa and Magar are presently en route to Malay in Maldives to commence evacuation operations from as a part of phase 1. Moving on to the next question. Name the portal launched by the DGCA to provide fast track approval to COVID-19 related drone operations. And the options are A. Rahat, B. Panchi, C. Vayu, D. Raksha and E. Garud. And the correct answer is E. Garud. The Civil Aviation Ministry and DGCA have launched the Garud that is Government Authorization for Relief Using Drones portal which will provide fast-track conditional exemption to government agencies for COVID-19 related drone operations. Moving on to the next question. 
the government of which state is planning to launch a new program called Nigha in order to educate the people in the state about social distancing and quarantine measures. And the options are A. Tamil Nadu, B. Kerala, C. Himachal Pradesh, D. Haryana, and E. Punjab. And the correct answer is C. Himachal Pradesh. In Himachal Pradesh, the state government is planning to launch a new program called Nigha in order to sensitize and educate the family members of the people coming in the state from other parts of the country. Under this program, ASHA, Health and Anganwadi workers would be deployed to create general awareness in maintaining social distancing during home quarantine. Moving on to the next question, who among the following has been nominated by the government on the board of the RBI? And the options are A. Sumit Sharma, B. Torun Bajaj, C. Rajesh Singh, D. Vinod Kumar, and E. Arun Sharma. And the correct answer is B. Torun Bajaj. The central government has nominated Tarun Bajaj, Secretary, Department of Economic Affairs of the Ministry of Finance, as a director on the central board of the RBI. Moving on to the next question. Which of the following small finance bank has launched a new working capital product to help customers meet the urgent liquidity requirements during the lockdown? And the options are A. Utkash Small Finance Bank B. Ekuta Small Finance Bank C. Suryode Small Finance Bank D. Capital Local Small Finance Bank E. AU Local Small Finance Bank And the correct answer is C. That is the Suryode Small Finance Bank The bank has rolled out a working capital product with a small overdraft limit on a pilot basis in two branches, Trechi, Tamil Nadu and Kata Kodesa to help its customers meet the urgent liquidity requirements during the lockdown. The bank has set a limit of 5,000 rupees for this working capital product. Moving on to the next question. Nebad has disbursed dash crores to state cooperative banks and RRBs across the country to augment their resources for extending credit to the farmers. And the options are A. 11,500 crore, B. 13,600 crore, C. 14,200 crore, D. 12,500 crore, and E 12,767 crore and the correct answer is E that is 12,767 crore. The National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development stated that it has disbursed rupees 12,767 crore to state cooperative banks and RRBs across the country to augment their resources for extending credit to the farmers during the ongoing lockdown. The RBA also had recently announced a special refinance facility for three All India financial institutions which include NEBAD, the Small Industries Development Bank of India and the National Housing Bank. Moving on to the next question. The Chief Minister of which state has launched an app to monitor the agriculture needs of farmers? And the options are A. Kerala B. Punjab C. Bihar D. Haryana and E. Andhra Pradesh and the correct answer is E. Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister YSR Jagmohan Reddy launched an app, CMAP, that is the Comprehensive Monitoring of Agriculture, Price and Procurement, which is a mobile application to monitor the agriculture needs of farmers. Moving on to the next question. The central government has extended the one-time limit for filing annual GST returns for a financial year 2018 and 19 till which date? And the options are A. October 30th, B. June 30th, C. August 30th, D. September 30th, and E. 30th July. And the correct answer is D. 30th September. The government has announced further relaxations for filing of annual returns of GST and movement of goods in the country. The CBIC has extended a time limit for furnishing of annual returns and GST audit for the financial year 2018 and 19 till 30th September 2020. Moving on to the next question. Which bank has launched an emergency loan facility for farmers with a maximum loan of up to rupees 50,000? And the options are A. Baroda Gujarat Grameen Bank D. Bangya Grameen Vikas Bank C. Karnataka Vikas Grameen Bank D. Bihar Grameen Bank and E. Andhra Pradesh Pragati Grameen Bank And the correct answer is C. That is the Karnataka Vikas Grameen Bank. The Tharwar Headquarter Bank has launched an emergency loan facility for the farmers. 
the chairman stated that the loan facility will be for the existing farmers who have been regular for as on february 29th a maximum loan extended will be rupees up to 50000 rupees and will be provided to meet unforeseen expenses moving on to the last question which bank has opened an emergency credit line for msmes to enhance liquidity in the current coronavirus crisis and the options are a sbi b punjab national bank c icici d hdfc and e access bank and the correct answer is b that is the punjab national bank the bank stated that it has opened an emergency credit line for the msme sector to help it tide over the liquidity crisis it has also liberalized the working capital assessment model for msme borrowers having limits of 5 crore and above okay so that's it for today thank you and happy learning